In this video, join me as we do a bit of a walk around Everything Electric Australia. It's second year here, 2024. I've already done a quick little walk around and it's more than double the size, triple, it's triple the size. So let's do a tour. This is a Janus truck and we're not just talking like a small you know amazon sort of thing no we're talking the full semi rig capable truck and this thing can do i think about 400 kilometers on one charge and you're thinking hey chris that massive battery pack plus the one on the other side is going to take forever to actually recharge now these guys will actually change out the battery in four minutes so the drivers can be going on their way so they're setting up these little interchange places along the major routes between, at the moment, Br uh, Brisbane and Sydney, and soon Melbourne to Sydney. And it's going to transform the operating costs for commercial shipping. And this is going to be about 33 cents per kilowatt hour, sorry, per kilometer, compared to almost a dollar for diesel. And if you can reduce that capital cost, you've got massive savings. So I've got to say, that battery pack is ridiculously huge. Check this out. This is a tiny solar home by <laughs> Tiny Solar Homes. I'm here with Guy. This is re remarkable and uh, I saw a bit of a story around this on the Fully Charged, yep. or Everything Electric Show rather. Yes. Uh, can you talk, tell the viewers about it? Our tiny solar homes here, um, they're on a fully aluminium trailer, um, the cladding's fully aluminium, we've got solar over the whole roof, 6 kilowatt inverter, 10.2 kilowatt of battery storage in our standard model, wow. we can also upgrade to 15.3, yeah we've got two models, so we've got the Allura and the Wanda, uh -huh. and we've also got a deck trailer that comes with it as well. Cool, that, they're fun names. So like 10 kilowatt hours, for people who don't understand right? For our house, we, we, we're a double story home, four bedroom. We typically can consume about 15 to 20 kilowatt hours per day. And this has got 10. Yeah. So that's pretty impressive. Yes. Yeah. So that means you could be off grid, put this somewhere remote, yep. away from any power. Yes. That's great. Yeah. All right. And um, so how how do you configure these? Are they, con are they actually configurable? Yeah. So we, we build them in our factory. They're ready to tow away. Mm -hmm. We've got a guy that would tow it directly for you or at the moment we're trying to help our customers out and um, doing a little bit of a favor for them because we're still relatively new yeah we want to be the first point of contact and the last point of contact mm. while we still can be yeah um, and then obviously in a year's time or something we might not be able to do that as often because we're going to be a lot busier yeah, yeah so we we're, we we it in the factory it's ready to go mm. um, you can change a few specs around with it uh, also the kitchen, the bathroom, there's, there's all different tapware, everything, all different colors. Right. Um, so it's just like you're building a home? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you customize it and you put in your whatever sort of tap fixtures and things like that you want yep. to put in. Yep. It's pretty damn impressive. And if I understand correctly, because this is basically considered to be a caravan, is yes. that right? Yes. So yeah. as long as it's under 2.5 wide yeah. and under 4.3 tall, hmm. And the trailer is less than 12 meters, it's still classed as a caravan. Gotcha. Is that anywhere in Australia or is that just in New South Wales? Anywhere in Australia. Yeah. Fantastic. For you guys overseas, uh, we have a lot of red tape and a lot of costs around actually, if you want to put a granny flat that's like a little tiny thing like this, similar, not same, similar, uh, you're going to be paying council fees, permit fees, you name it. So you can actually bucket this into potentially your backyard. Yes. And it's classed as a caravan. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty impressive. So we get a lot of customers that um, have some hard to deal with councils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are trying to find a way around that. Yeah. And yeah. because we're building into caravan specs, yes, it can be part. Cool. This is a zero carbon kitchen. And throughout the day, they actually cook up a few different recipes from absolutely renewable power sources. Over in Europe, they will plug in a car that does vehicle to load. That's to say that you can actually um, power things like, I don't know, TV, toaster, kettle, you name it. I've done videos like that before, but this one, uh, they're actually cooking, uh, got a uh, oven going, they've got a fridge going, um, uh, induction cooktop, and it just goes to show you that in the future, anything and everything can 
and will be electric because yeah, you can actually get your energy for free from the sun and wind. Check this out, a VW converted. And this is from Australian EBS, Edwin. Yeah. I think we met last year, right? We did, yeah. So we've, we've had an exciting year. So really over the last 12 months, we've really been focusing on trying to build our own conversion kits here in Australia that are universal. So anything for a four cylinder replacement, which is great for the, the Beetle, the Combis, that sort of thing, the MGs, yep. uh, six cylinder replacement. So when you start stepping up into more of the old sports cars, little Land Rovers, things like that, yeah. uh, an eight cylinder replacement. So you start jumping up into your Land Cruisers. Uh, and at the same time, by using the latest technology, we've been able to drop the price quite a lot so drop like the beetle conversions about 20 percent from what they used to be which is wow trying to make it a lot more easy for people to take that jump into it awesome and so uh remind me if you are technical if you've yep. got some engineering sort of car experience could yep. you do this project yourself yeah, so the way that we try and do it, we provide you with the kit, everything you need from end to end. It takes about 80 hours, maybe 100 hours to do the conversion. Wow. And what we say is if you're technical enough to be able to do an engine rebuild yourself, mm -hmm. you'll be able to do this. So we can help you along the way. We can help you do the um, commissioning at the end and then the engineering to get it registered. Yep. Um, or if you're not comfortable with that, ship it off to us and we'll um, do it for you. Cool. Yeah. Love it. All right. So look, I'm going to leave the details down below because sure. I reckon what you're doing here, giving cars a second, third life, because maybe these things yeah. are being rebuilt and rebuilt and all that crazy maintenance and uh, sourcing parts, which progressively becomes oh, yeah. harder and harder, yeah? A lot, and that's a lot of times what we do. We get guys with specialist cars, like I've got a 1950s Mercedes someone's interested in, yeah. um, the engine's blowing up on it, and to try and get that replaced properly is gonna be extremely hard, but put an EV conversion in, yeah. and the most exciting thing is the performance jumps up by threefold sometimes as well, so <laughs> a lot it. more fun to drive. Beautiful. Yeah. This is interesting. This is Zero Motorcycles in Australia. They're actually the American brand. And if you know your uh, electric vehicles, think Tesla, the, the class leader in, let's say, electric vehicles, this is the equivalent in the motorbike world. And it's great to hear. They've actually got some stores now. They've got official channels, support, you name it. You can go to Peter Stevens and buy yourself one. And they start, well, at this moment, around that 20K upwards sort of bracket but very soon they're going to have some cheaper models that even lambs approve that's for the learners out there and they're going to be in the mid-teens and if you know motorbike prices that's basically what you pay for most motorbikes and the fancier ones the beamers they're in the 20s anyway so you can go fully electric and i can't i can't imagine how much cheaper and more more importantly how much more fun it will be to ride one of these One of the things about coming to the Everything Electric Show Australia is that you get to listen to some talks to some really awesome people like Elliot from Hello. China. <laughs> yes. Mate. I'm so happy to be here for the second time. It's just delightful. Everyone here is so enthusiastic. Yeah. It's so good to feed that energy <laughs> into me. I love it. Fantastic. And um, look, we met last year yes. and you know, things, things have changed and you know, That's right. I think you predicted that BYD would outsell Tesla. Well, it kind of did, didn't it? Yes, in it did. In the last quarter. Yep. Yeah, so think, tick. Yeah, that's done, and I think they're going to grow even bigger over the next year. It's massive. Yeah, exactly. Unstoppable, really. Damn straight. And uh, look, that's going into the affordability thing. But I wanted to ask you, right? Yeah. I've watched a few of your stories over the last year on Fully Charged, uh -huh. and one of my favourite stories was the CATL battery story. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your favourite? It would be the same one. <laughs> yeah, okay, why is that? I mean, what it just took so long to. to get access to it, then all of a sudden they said, yep, come in and you can film everything. They yeah. gave us full access and I just couldn't believe it. Like we went in there, we saw how a battery was made. It just seems so simple. Mm. It, obviously it's incredibly complex, yes. you know, and they're talking about micron thick kind of, uh, you know, film and stuff. Yeah. But actually seeing the battery come to life and then it was there, I was like, that's an electric car battery. It's ready, it's done. It's done. And that one factory produces 2.2 million cells and it's one of 14 factories around the world. It's just 
staggering numbers and you can kind of see the direction that they're going in and how much demand there's going to be from the market in the next few years. So, yeah. And I think that's a really important story. It's like the BYD factory visit we did uh, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't think we realised at the time just how big BYD was going to be when we filmed that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, that video, everyone talks to me about that video. Yeah. And I think the CATL one will be very similar. So. Exactly. And i got to say, maybe that bit where you, you talked about the chemistry, mm. we should do the little, the, the theme with the, the, the math and things like that. Uh, yeah, they should, yeah, it's just yeah. so complicated. But, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, this year, I've got to say, there's a lot more EVs you're showing, which is awesome. Yeah, very Love good. it, love yeah, it. Yeah. If you could choose one of them, what would, what would it be and why? Can I have two? Sure. I would choose the Hyundai Onyx N. Mm -hmm. We don't get that in China. We'll never get that in China. Yeah. Because uh, unfortunately, Hyundai is not selling many electric cars there. Oh, okay. um, but I love it. It's kind of a really good direction I think electric cars are going in. You know, kind of modifications, making them a bit more sporty, you know, great feeling. Yeah. And I think that's what the EV industry needs a bit more of less boring SUVs mm -hmm. and more fun, dynamic, and exciting cars. That'd be one. Yeah. The other would be the EV converted Lotus Elise. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I love EV conversions. I love to see what can be done. You know, it's kind of home engineering. Mm. You know, what can we use these old batteries for? It's, I really just like the, the thought process behind it and I obviously want to drive it. <laughs> um, I'd love to drive something like that. But exactly. Those would be my favourite two. Perfect. Well, I'm with you with the Ionic 5 yeah. in. And uh, yeah, it's, it was uh, good to see. Alrighty, there you go. That's a complete walk around of the Everything Electric Australia show for 2024. Uh, it's easily more than double the size of what it was last year. And it's nice to see there's uh, a lot of people here and this uh, setup where you can actually test drive an electric vehicle. And I think it's gonna open a lot of people up to the, um, you know that these are these are just cars so let us use electricity to get them around if you've enjoyed this video i've got plenty of content coming your way and subscribe think about kofi if you want to see some behind the scenes and stuff you don't get here and otherwise i'll see you soon